I believe that Caleb is the third greatest warrior in history. First was Joshua, Caleb's leader. Second was King David. And third is Caleb. I'm going to read to you all Joshua chapter 14, verses 6 onwards. It's about Hebron giving, given to Caleb. Now the men of Judah approached Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Zephunah, the Kenzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, at Kadesh Barnea, about you and me. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land, and I brought him back a report according to my convictions. But my brothers who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. So on that day, Moses swore to me, The land on which your feet have walked will be your inheritance and that of your children forever, because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses, while Israel moved about in the desert. So here I am today, 85 years old. 85 years old. Wow. This is how old Caleb is when he was said all this. I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Zephunah, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. So Hebron has belonged to Caleb, son of Zephuna, the Canaanites, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. Hebron used to be called Kireh, Arba, after Arba, who was the greatest man among the Anakites. Then the Lord, sorry, then the land had rest from war. Wow, this battle that Caleb fought for Hebron. I wanted to show you uh, the conclusion in Judges chapter 1, verses 20. As Moses had promised, Moses, uh, not Joshua, Moses. So this was during the time of Moses. As Moses had promised, Moses promised, Hebron was given to Caleb, who drove from it the three sons of Anax. We hear of David fighting one giant, Goliath. Here, Caleb fought three giants, the three sons of Anak. Caleb is the third greatest warrior in history. He, he fights with faith in the Lord, just like his leader Joshua. In fact, Joshua and Caleb conquered together so much, more than 30 kings, and they fought many battles and came, they have won, I'm sorry, they have won great victories for the Lord. Caleb was a person full of faith, just like Joshua. So Caleb is the third greatest warrior in history. First Joshua, second David, third Caleb. Caleb has defeated three giants at one go. Thank you. See you on my next video.